If you clicked on this video, you probably want to snipe like this. Sniper! And since we hit 1,000 subscribers, and there were many requests on making a sniper tutorial. I will be giving you tips to become a sniper pro. I will split this video into four parts. Sensitivity and loadouts, aim, movement, and then bonus tips for you. And now, let's talk about sensitivity. Before this, I need to tell you, never copy a pro player's sensitivity, as their device, playstyle, and preferences are different from yours. Now, let's adjust our sensitivity. Go under camera sensitivity and then look for standard sensitivity and sniper scope sensitivity. These are the ones you would be mainly adjusting to get your perfect sniper sensitivity. So what is standard sensitivity? Standard sensitivity is your sensitivity when you're not aimed in like in this clip. To figure out whether your standard sensitivity is perfect, go to training mode and do a 90 degree turn to a stationary bot. If your crosshair goes beyond the target, you have to decrease your standard sensitivity. On the other hand, if you did less than a 90 degree turn, you have to increase it. Keep adjusting it slowly until you find a perfect one. Sniper scope sensitivity is your sensitivity when you are scoped in with your sniper like in this clip. Let me teach you how to find your perfect sniper scope sensitivity. First, scope in and track a moving bot. If you have difficulty tracking them, you should increase your sniper scope sensitivity. On the other hand, if you overreach them, decrease it. Keep adjusting it slowly until you find a perfect one. And now just play some free for all shipment matches to get used to your new sensitivity. Or play some ranked match if you don't mind sacrificing some ranked XP. Congratulations! You now have a perfect sensitivity but now you need perfect loadouts. So here are the loadouts for the three best snipers in the game, which is the Locus, DLQ and Tondra. Next, I'm going to talk about aim. Have you ever wanted to have insane aim like Zeke and Ganeth? But then your aim is like this. Don't worry, I got you. I have two tips to improve your aim. Crosshair placement and practice. This little white dot at the center of your screen is the crosshair. Keep it at chest level. And a mistake that a lot of players make, including me, is pointing your crosshair to the floor, which you should not do. As keeping your crosshair up makes it easier to aim and you can react faster when an enemy suddenly appears. Then next, you just need to practice a lot play ranked matches, or ask world chat for 1v1, and keep playing with sniper and learn from your mistakes, and after some time, you will become a sniper pro. Now let's move on to movement. I will give you five basic movements that is simple and yet effective. First movement is the dolphin jump. And to do it, slide in one direction and the jump in the other direction. This movement is used to confuse your enemies and helps dodge some bullets. The second movement is the slide cancel. Slide cancel is basically a slide, but it keeps your crosshair at the same level, unlike a normal slide. To do this, slide and immediately press the ads button. The third movement is the back slide. This movement surprises your enemies. To do this, turn back and just when you slide face towards the enemy and there is your backslide. The fourth movement is super simple. It's called jiggle peeking. And this movement provides you information without fully exposing your body. To do this, just find cover and move your joystick left and right. The last movement I want to tell you is the drop shot. Drop shot surprises your enemies and it helps you dodge some bullets as you would be out of their crosshair. To do this, 
just prone right before you shoot in the middle of a gunfight. Now all you need to do is combine those movements and make the combination smooth and effective. However, remember to always prioritize aim over movement. I Lastly, I will give you two bonus tips, which is to use the correct secondary weapon and to use four fingers or more. Use a salt knife, karambit, machete, folding knife, katana or spear. These are the best melee weapons that have the fastest weapon switch times and are the flashiest. They give you mobility boost and trust me using these to weapon switch would help your sniping a lot. And if you want to improve your sniping even more, learn to use four fingers or more instead of two. Let me show you why. The difference between two finger and four finger is quite obvious, so you should learn four fingers or more if you want to get even better at sniping. That's all for today's video. Thanks for all of your support that you have all given me and take care.